Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to continue on with our ASP.NET Core uh, web app that we've been building. It's going to turn into a character counter and that really is going to take form in this particular video. I screwed up the intro that I previously had for this video, so if this doesn't flow well with the actual video, I apologize. But if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any in the future. And if you want to follow along from the very beginning of this, I should have a whole playlist here on YouTube for you to follow along. And so far, we've talked about uh, Razor Pages syntax, we've talked about controllers, we've talked about adding a new view and creating a new view, we've talked about routing. And so today we're going to do a little bit more client-side scripting. And what better to do that than JavaScript? So we're going to look at some event handlers, we're going to grab values of different HTML elements, and that should help us with this particular app. So we were talking about Razor Pages, so all of this is pretty much junk. So I'm actually just going to remove most of this, except I'm going to update this title value to character counter, okay? And maybe we'll put an H1 in here and also say character counter. And then let's put a div below that and let's give it some inline styling. I'm going to give it some padding of 50 pixels. That way anything that's inside of this div isn't right up on the edge. And just as we did an Angular inside of this div, let's place a text area. And here I'm going to give it an ID, and you can name it whatever you want, but I'm gonna say chart count is the ID of this text area. And then let's also give it some inline styling, and just something like height is going to be 400 pixels. And let's just see what that looks like so far. Okay, so this is our text area. The height is fine, but the width is not. So I'm just going to, in the dev tools here in Chrome, just see what a width of 100% ends up looking like. And if we set the width to 100%, you can see it looks a lot like it did in Angular. This is the kind of formatting and the style that we want. So let's update that in the CSHTML. Let's give it a width of 100%. And so now the only thing we need to do is whenever someone starts typing in here, how do we get the value of the amount of characters typed into this particular text area? Well, there's probably more than one way to do this, but I'm going to show you the way I thought of. So right above our div with the text area, we're going to put another div, and this is going to be used to display how many characters are in that text area. So inside of this div, let's put an H2. Let's give this an ID as well. Let's call it char display. And there's nothing going to be in this H2. It'll be dynamically set via JavaScript. And so down below, let's put a script. So we're going to have a script tag. And inside of this, we can go ahead and write our JavaScript. And so what I want to do is every time someone types in this text area, I want to run some kind of function. So let's go ahead and define that function here in the script. So we can say function, name it, whatever you want. I'm going to say char updated. And here we can have a variable called length which is going to be equal to document.getElementById, this guy right here. And we pass in the ID that we gave this text area. So chart count, dot value, dot length. So once again, this is going to grab the value of this text area. It's going to retrieve the length attribute of it and then set that equal to our variable called length. And then let's go ahead and console.log below that. So if we serve this up again, I just noticed I put the width in the wrong place. So let's put that here and restart it. So now if we hit F12 and we look at our console and we start typing, nothing's going to happen, right? Because we haven't notified that function that, hey, you should be ran. And the way that we can do that is we put an event handler in this text area. So in JavaScript, there's an event handler called on key up and that basically means every time someone presses a key down and when the key comes back up it's going to fire off this particular event and then what do we want to happen whenever the key is up we want to run this particular function that we just defined down below okay so let's recompile again and now we should be able to see what gets ran in this particular function so i'll bring up my dev tools we'll start typing again and now notice as I keep typing, the events get fired because the keys that I'm pressing eventually come up, right? And then we get the length of the value of whatever is in this text area. So lastly, we need to display this length somewhere. And that somewhere is going to be in the H2 above. 
So below where we console.log, we can say document dot get element by ID, but now let's reference this particular element, this char display. And then let's set its inner HTML value equal to the value of length. Now, if we restart our app, we bring up the dev console. I start typing again. Notice now on that H2, we get the same value we see in the console.log. And what's kind of cool about using the on key up event handler is that this also works if I go to cut this. Note it goes down to zero because I hit control X to cut this. And when I brought back up X, it fired that event, so it went back to zero. And if I do control V and I bring up the V, that also counted as a key up event. And now it read the value of this and set it equal to eight. However, there's one issue here, and that is if I copy it or cut it and I right click in this text area and select paste, that doesn't count as a key up event. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you what we do about that particular scenario. Should be a pretty quick video, and that might end it for this ASP.NET Core, or at least this particular web app. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next video.